Game Boy Advance kicks ass. GameCube kicks ass. And you can make these two things kick ass together. They'll kick each other's asses. They'll kick each other's asses so hard that their boots will get lodged in their throats. Now what the hell am I talking about? I'll show you what I'm talking about. The Game Boy adapter for the Nintendo GameCube. That's right, my friends. You can get an adapter for your GameCube that allows you to play Game Boy games up on the big screen. It is magnificent. It is compatible with Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance cartridges. So all three generations of Game Boy. Now I know what you're thinking. Who the hell wants to play Game Boy games with a GameCube controller? Have you seen that D-pad? It sucks. Well, yeah, it does suck, but you don't have to use it. And you know why? Nintendo released a cable that plugs into your Game Boy Advance, plugs into the GameCube, and lets you use the Game Boy Advance as a controller, so you can completely authentically recreate the experience of playing a Game Boy Advance game on your TV without compromising in any way. Well, if you wanted to watch the Game Boy cartridge movies on your TV, you won't be able to do that. Yeah, they don't allow that, but let's face it, if you wanted to do that, they're doing you a favor by not letting you, because believe me, that tiny resolution blown up onto a big screen it's enough to make you throw up. How do I know? Well, have you tried watching a YouTube video in 240p? Well, imagine that, but worse. As for the Game Boy Advance adapter on the GameCube, some systems shipped with it, like mine, it was included as part of a bundle, and you could also buy it separately. So at least you had the choice. Now, the thing about this adapter is that a lot of people would lose the disc. That's right the disc. You cannot use this adapter without the disc. So if you just have the adapter, you'd think that's got to be enough, right? No. You need the disc to launch the software that lets the adapter work. Now, I don't know if this is, technically speaking, entirely necessary. It's hard to say. My best guess would be that it's probably some sort of emulation software that the disc runs that you actually do need because the system itself doesn't have that software built into it. Now that would be the best explanation that I could think of. Now I gotta tell you, this Game Boy Advance controller adapter thing really got me thinking. There's a GameCube adapter for the Nintendo Switch, so would this Game Boy plugged into that adapter work? Let's find out. No, it doesn't. You know, I guess I was hoping for too much. But Nintendo has made some serious strides as far as the GameCube adapter goes. As many of you may remember, when the GameCube controller adapter first came out for the Nintendo Wii U, the only game it was compatible with was Super Smash Bros. That's it. Yeah, now I know the Wii U didn't have a huge library, but there were quite a few good games on there, especially Nintendo games. And you would think that by releasing an adapter that allows you to use a GameCube controller with the system, that they would make it compatible with, you know, everything. But no, not even a handful of games. One game. One. That's all you got. That sucked. And it essentially made the, the accessory not at all worth getting until the Nintendo Switch came along. Nintendo decided, hey, that was pretty stupid, huh? What do you say we let people use that same adapter with the Switch, but it'll work with anything, literally anything. It is detected the same way that any other controller is detected on the system. It will work. There are plenty of games where the GameCube controller just doesn't quite have enough buttons or the layout isn't exactly suited for whatever it is you want to do. But if you want to play Dark Souls with a GameCube controller, thanks to the Nintendo Switch, you can actually do that. The Game Boy, I was hoping, would be compatible with this adapter because you can play Game Boy Advance games on the Nintendo Switch. There is a way to do that, right? If you pay for the subscription, you'll have access to GBA games. So if you could actually use the GBA to play those games through the GameCube adapter, that would have been awesome. 
But of course, Nintendo has a long way to go when it comes to this type of thing. Their emulation and backwards compatibility as of late has been lacking. So hopefully in the future, as there is a new Nintendo system coming right around the corner, we'll be able to do something like that. In this particular case, I do kind of doubt it. Uh, but, you know, why not hold out some hope? Blind optimism. It can really get you through life.